Oh, anxious departure. And fear for Vivian's fragile health. She suffers from life-threatening seizures. So much worry. Yet thankfully, this part of their journey was surprisingly smooth. With her grandmother and father by her side, Vivian was seizure-free. Hey! The long plane ride from New Jersey to Colorado ends with a warm welcome. Hi, precious. Vivian is finally going to try medical marijuana, cannabis, and the Stanley brothers have been working hard to get it ready. Go ahead. But just an hour after her arrival, and you pad, Brian. Brian, she's she's going with her face. Well, she sees him. Bring her over. Vivian starts having seizures, one after the other. Brian rushes to get her anti-seizure medication. It's hard on Vivian and on Brian, and some of his doubts start to rush back in. It's always stressful wherever we go. I have all faith that this is going to work, but with anything you try, there's always that nagging suspicion that we're going to be the ones that it doesn't work for. Despite the rough night, the next morning begins with hope that relief is in sight. Here's Vivian. Thank you. To meet the strict state standards, Brian establishes residency in Colorado by renting a small apartment. Vivian meets with two doctors for a thorough physical. How many seizures per day? Both doctors approve her need for cannabis and write recommendations for medical marijuana to treat her epilepsy. Yeah, we're good? Yeah. By sunset, they're ready. Little Vivian has no idea what's about to happen. Okay. Hey, Vivi. Ready for your future? Nope. That's it. Right there. A tiny amount of oil squirted into her mouth. Good job, sweetheart. <laughs> now, they just watch and wait. Over the next 24 hours, Vivian's seizures slowly decrease. Look what I got. How's she doing? She's doing really good. To celebrate a family picnic. <laughs> Outside, filled with activity, balloons with patterns, decorations, and lots of sunlight. Any of these things could have previously induced a seizure. It's an emotional moment for a dad, watching his daughter finally have freedom. She used to be able to do this outside, but not. This is what I'm starting on, yeah. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Brian believes the marijuana is working. But as you're about to see, Vivian is by no means cured. <laughs> After an hour in the direct sun, Vivian has a seizure. Brian rushes to inject the potent emergency rescue drugs that will stop the seizures, and then places an oxygen mask in case those same drugs stop Vivian from breathing. She was out in the sun. Yeah, we pushed it. Now with the epilepsy rescue drugs still in her system, you can see for yourself just how powerful they are. She's absolutely doped up right now, though. Like, watch her trying to walk, watch her trying to do anything. This is difficult to watch, but it does raise this important point. The traditional drugs used to treat epilepsy can be more dangerous than cannabis. Vivian's doctor, epilepsy expert, Orin Davinsky. I think one of the reasons marijuana is probably safe is, is related to the cannabidiol receptors, which if you have too much stimulation or inhibition of them, they don't shut off breathing or respiration. And that's key. The current potent epilepsy drugs impact many parts of the brain, including the brainstem. They can essentially shut off the body's vital functions if you take too much. Marijuana does not do that. And that's why it's virtually unheard of to have a marijuana overdose. It's one of the reasons so many doctors are starting to change their minds on cannabis. But we are talking about children, young children, and that's gonna understandably raise concerns. The latest research shows that some strains of marijuana do have a profound effect on the brains of users under the age of 25. 
THC in some good studies has been linked to psychiatric disorders, memory disorders in children under age 16. So we, even though it's low THC content, it's still THC is more potent than CBD, so there may be long-term side effects. What do you worry about the most in the long run? Uh, the fact that we don't understand the long-term effects of this medication in brain development. These are tough choices, made even tougher when you uproot your whole life for marijuana. I had to do a lot of fundraising and get a lot of friends' help to get us here. So we left daddies at home in Cleveland and Big Sis. They come from all walks of life. A stay-at-home mom from Ohio, an insurance salesman from Alabama, a nurse practitioner from Florida. It's exciting to think about the opportunity for her, I mean, to hold her head up, to be able to look at us and say, Mom and Dad. But now they're trapped. You can't take the medicine back to Florida, can you? They would take my child away. I'm pretty sure that's, that's my fear. Because... They would take your child away for giving him his medicine. Yeah. This is the problem I'm talking about between the federal and the state level. This conflict is really uh, driving families apart. I mean, that's just crazy. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I try not to think of it at this point. I'm just trying to, you know, get some, some quick results in Vivian so that we, we, we know uh, this is the path to keep, continue on. And over the next couple of days, they see some startling results. Vivian goes from 75 seizures a day to just 10. The Wilsons are now more convinced than ever. They have to keep Vivian on marijuana. But how? Financially, they aren't ready to move here full time. And yet New Jersey doesn't have the resources to grow what they need. So as they head home, they don't know what the future holds. We're just going to have to hope for the best in the meantime. Their hope could lie with a brand new pharmaceutical. Wow. From these top secret fields overseas, an exclusive look inside when we come back.